Today we are at the Great Pyramids. It's our first episode in Egypt, mm -hmm. Mia's dream destination. I've been dreaming about coming to Egypt since I was in grade two and rented every single book <laughs> in the library at school about Egypt and read them all. I've been obsessed and yeah, so we're really excited, especially me. We tried to come on our honeymoon, but just restrictions and different opportunities arose. So yeah, we know. Here we are now. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> here we are now. So this is our first episode. We're gonna be doing a few more as we're in Egypt for two weeks. Hi. And uh, <laughs> it should be pretty cool. We've got a lot of walking to do, so let's go check it out. Yeah. Standing behind us is the oldest and largest of the three pyramids. Also known as the Great Pyramid of Giza. The Great Pyramid of Giza stands at 139 meters tall, weighing at almost 6.5 million tons. So we just got to the Menkaur Pyramid. We're about to go take our tour inside. So we'll go check it out. Yeah. Mic on? Yeah. You know what they should change this into? What? Just a slide <laughs> all the way into the pyramid. I'm willing to bet that you would not expect to find this kind of a view at Pizza Hut. <laughs> This Pizza Hut is right out front of the pyramids. It's got incredible views, including a rooftop, and the food is super cheap too. Oh yeah, we got a medium pizza and three drinks, all for 15 Canadian dollars. Yeah, I mean, you can't beat that, and the, the view, view is, is just incredible. Yeah, it's stunning. <laughs> just got back from our first full day in Egypt. What do you think? Did it live up to the hype? Yeah. We spent the whole day at the pyramids and I don't know, it's kind of scary having expectations for something because hardly or seldom, I guess, do they live up to your expectations, but the pyramids and the Sphinx were everything I have dreamed them. It was breathtaking. Dreamed them to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, just it beautiful. was yeah, phenomenal. Um, a lot of people warn you about like different misconceptions and some had some truth, some didn't. Um, a lot of people think that the pyramids are remote and far from town when they're honestly in reality like pretty close. Yeah. Um, Clearly like, you can tell from Pizza Hut. Yeah. They're, <laughs> they're right beside them. Mm -hmm, they're right beside town but I don't think that took away from the pyramids at no, all. Definitely not. Um, another one is that you have, there's a lot of people selling you things and there is, however, a lot of people warned us that they're really pushy and you need to be cautious and that it ruins experience and we didn't accept, or we didn't notice that really. Like, yes, people tried to sell us things, but as soon as you said no, they were pretty quick to back off. We've had... I don't know, bigger issues oh, yeah. in other countries. And I don't think that should steer you away from visiting the pyramids. No, there's definitely a ton. All. Like everybody is trying mm -hmm. to sell you something, whether it be camel ride, a mm -hmm. horse ride, souvenirs, mm -hmm. whatever it is. There is some typical scams to be aware of too, which you just have to do your research and you'll be fine. Uh, yeah, one of the biggest ones was that when you walk into some of the tombs, there are people there. 
um, and they'll try and sell you either a ticket or, um, or they'll show like, you additional information. Yeah. And you know what? We did pay the one, one of the guys because he gave us really valid information that we yeah. didn't know about one of the tombs, um, which was really interesting. Um, but any of the officials working there, they're usually in vests or they have their security badges on. So they're yeah. pretty obvious, which ones work there and which ones are kind of there to make some extra side yeah. money. Well, and another common one that they do is there's a lot of people in there. They'll whistle, they'll call you, they'll tell you you're going the wrong way. You can't go this way. You have to turn around or they'll make you buy another ticket. It's not true. Just keep Just walking. ignore them. Keep walking. And they stop. It, if you see other people walking, you know you're okay. Yeah. And they, they don't bother you after that. All the areas that you can't go in there are like very clearly gated. Yeah, you can you can tell. Yeah. Um, another one was pickpocketers and we had no issues. And obviously like no matter where you go, proceed with caution. Some areas, some cities, some countries, you need to be more aware than others. Um, but as far as we experienced, we did not experience any pickpocketing. We didn't see any pickpocketing. No attempts. No. And even right outside of the pyramids, we went to Pizza Hut and my darling husband forgot our backpack with half of our camera equipment for like the second time. Like this has happened before. Yeah, this also happened in uh, Denver as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyways, and one of the employees at Pizza Hut was so kind and he ran it out to us as soon as he noticed that the bag was left behind and he found us and he gave it back to us so i don't know I he came up and he was jokingly asking for money for bringing it back up and we did we ended up giving him a tip because we appreciate it. i mean he could have just kept it but he did bring it back up to us so mm -hmm. um i think that's about it for my misconceptions yeah. is there anything else i wanted to mention no i will say they do have, so you pay your standard entrance fee to get into the plateau, which gives you access to the three main pyramids, the Sphinx, just all your general sightseeing. And then they have the additional cost to do a tour in the pyramid. So you can actually pay, go inside the tombs, which are really, really neat. It's not very much. I know the one we paid for, which was Menkau, mm -hmm. was five, ten dollars per person. It was less than five, I believe. Yeah, and it was such a cool experience. It's just, it's a whole different vibe than when you're outside. So mm -hmm. I would definitely recommend doing that. The main pyramid, the Great Pyramid of Giza, is a little more money to go in. And I've heard they're all pretty similar, so you can pick and choose what you want to do yourself. Yeah, I don't think you need to do all three. But also I think that they have the two smaller ones. They only open one at a time. So really the max you could do would only be two. Yeah, exactly. Um, You can do both if you wanted to, but we just, chose to do one yeah you can judge from our footage but it was <laughs> in my opinion worth it it was it was just a really unique feeling to be down there mm -hmm. but yeah that's I, about it for egypt it is no no no, no, no for no. egypt we still have a couple more adventures in egypt but that is it for our pyramids video and i guess i'm going to need to find a new bucket list destination <laughs> now since my number one is ticked off yeah yeah thank you guys so much for watching as always, like, subscribe if you enjoy it, drop a comment, we're happy to hear from you and answer. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for our next one, it's going to be really good. <laughs> Hopefully. Bye.